Hey folks, this is Ryan from ORS Cross Country Skis Direct. Right now I'm going to walk you through a, new, a newish category uh, that we offer. Um, we refer to these products as sliding snowshoes. That's the, the best uh, sort of name we can give them. Um, they really are a bridge between snowshoeing and skiing. Uh, they look like skis at a glance. Um, you can mount ski bindings on them and they glide across the snow. But unlike a, a traditional ski, they're a lot shorter they're wide um, and they have gripping elements that give you better grip than a fish scale pattern on a, on a typical backcountry or classic ski, uh, cross country ski, um, and allow you to get you know, better grip, not quite as good as a snowshoe, cramp on, no doubt about that, but certainly better glide than a snowshoe. So they are great for exploring the woods, uh, going a lot of places where you would normally go snowshoeing. I think of them more of a sliding snowshoe than I do a ski. These don't tour very well. Um, you know, if you're doing a lot of downhill stuff, they're not great. They're a lot better going downhill sliding than a snowshoe. Um, but, you know, compared to a real ski, if downhill and skiing is your thing, they're not really for you. But they're a lot of fun. So really quickly, let's just run you through the two models that we're carrying this year. The first one we'll show you is, is a new product called the Alte Hawk. This is the 145 length. They're sold without bindings. And this is a 125 length, uh, mounted with what they call the X-Trace binding. Really quickly about the ski itself, or the sliding snowshoe, um, it has a metal edge, so you get that downhill control. Um, the gripping element is a, is a climbing skin that's inlaid into the base material, so it's, it's permanently mounted to the ski. And the hairs of the plush are directional, so it allows the ski to, or the hawk, to slide forward pretty well but yet gets really good grip on the uphill. Much better grip than you'll get with fish scales um, on your standard skis, but no, nowhere near as good as grip you'll get with crampons from a snowshoe. So you kind of compromise a little grip so that you have that glide. A um, lot, a lot of fun to explore. And again, go places where you would normally go snowshoeing with the benefit of being able to glide. So really cool. The 125 length is shorter, obviously, than the 145, meaning it's going to be more maneuverable, easier to get around, tighter uh, type you know, bushes and trees and that sort of thing. The, the longer length is going to give you more flotation, uh, especially if you're a heavier person. You can look at the weight chart and pick one over the other, but also think about the type of, ski, you know, of experience you're looking to do. A short ski might be better even if you fall into the longer uh, skis weight category. The X-Trace binding right here is a great product. It's a universal binding, meaning it can work with any snow boot. This is the kind of binding people have been asking about. So you don't need to buy a ski boot. You don't need to buy anything special other than your Sorel or your, your regular L. Bean snow boot. Uh, it's adjustable, so it'll fit pretty much any size. Uh, it's a free heel design, so you're going to be able to kick and glide. Um, but uh, you know, you just slap it on your snow boot. It also works with a like a cross country touring boot as well. Um, so really, really versatile, universal binding. Uh, the, the skis, or the I keep calling them skis, the Hawk has threaded inserts designed to accept um, the X Trace binding. Also, a 75 millimeter uh, three pin backcountry type binding. Um, they do make their own. Uh, you could also use something like the Volet 3 pin here uh, with this adapter kit that's sold separately as well. Um, this comes with the bolts that go into those inserts, so it's necessary that you get this to work with your existing 3 pin binding. Um, it also, uh, they also offer an adapter plate so that you could actually mount an uh, SNS or NNN VC binding on here. I really wouldn't recommend that. Um, honestly, this is a wide enough ski where the, any NNN type system boot or SNS system boot isn't really going to give you the power you need to really turn the thing. If you're sticking mainly on packed flat snow, or I should say just flat terrain where there really isn't any downhill at all, you could get away with it. Um, but honestly, I think it's best to stick with um, a 75 millimeter boot binding setup or the X Trace so you get that control that you need. So, anyway, the Alte Hawk, really cool. Ski is going to be a lot of fun. Then we got the Marquette. This has been around for a few years. It's a, made in the US, it's a molded plastic. Thing. <laughs> um, fish scales are on the base there, take up pretty much the whole base. You get really good grip on the uphill. Uh, glide on the downhill is, uh, is decent. Um, by the way, the other advantage of the climbing skin on the Hawk is it does control your speed on the downhill. Um, so you actually um, you know, can feel safe coming down hill uh, through trees without killing yourself. Same with the Marquette. This is not an exceptional gliding ski. Um, it, it's really no fun if you're stuck on a flat kick and glide session for, for hours, you're going to really not be very happy. But you know, for, for bumming around the woods where you would normally go snowshoeing, you get to the top of that hill, you're going to be able to ski down, slide down, it's a lot of fun. Um, these come with threaded inserts and uh, you do get the, the bolts that will hold any 75 millimeter three pin binding 
two there. You couldn't mount an SNS or an NDC binding on here at all. Um, you got to stick with a 75 millimeter. Right now we've got a, a, the Vole three pin HD mounted on there. That's a great option. You could also do a cable style three pin binding. And uh, that's going to give you the control you need to go out and have a lot of fun and get the control through the tree so you don't run into a tree. That's the idea anyway. So the Marquette is uh, one option, sort of a more utilitarian. The Alte Hawk being lighter weight, more constructed like a standard ski with metal edges, going to give you more of that ski experience. Um, more for the gliding aspect of that category, I would say. Then for boots, you could look at these boots right here. This is our selection of backcountry boots. Any of these are really going to work. Um, you know, a, a light duty N and N D C boot, like I said, perfect for the X Trace binding. Uh, or you know, the Al this is the uh, Rosinal BCX2, by the way. Um, the Alpina 1550, men's and women's, or the more uh, aggressive BCX10. These are all N and N D C boots. Great options. Um, we actually have. These two boots here, which are just standard snow boots from North Face called the Chill Cats. We sell them as snowshoe boots. They're excellent. They're warm, cozy boots with a lot of support. We'd be really happy uh, into those X-Trace Universal bindings. And you could, of course, go 75 millimeter if you're looking for the most control when you get to the downhill section of the day. Um, starting out with the Alpina 15, 1575, which is a pretty light duty 75 millimeter. Uh, the Rosinol BCX6 getting a little heavier duty, and all the way up to the, the beefiest of the non plastic shell, the Fisher BCX675. And then plastic boots certainly don't be afraid. Uh, they're going to be a little heavier, not obviously, than a non plastic, but they're still relatively lightweight and low cut. They're not as tall and beefy as like a Tele boot or an Alpine boot, um, but you get the most support possible for the downhill. Super warm, super comfortable, tons of support, great fit. And, um, you know, mounted on any of these, you're going to have a really cool setup to go pretty much anywhere you want. So, think about it. You know, you like to snowshoe, you like to ski, or maybe you only snowshoe and would love to slide down a hill every once in a while. This is a great category to consider. Something like this with a universal binding on it, you know, great for guests who come by your place to just slap on and go out and have a good time. Um, I, I love these things. They're a lot of fun. Maybe I'll see you out there in the woods one of these days. Thanks again uh, for watching. My name is Ryan from ORS Cross Country Skis Direct, ORS Snowshoes Direct. Take care.